Okay, so for verse and devotion for today, um, we're still talking about the hard truth about hell and how can reading the Bible and attending church help you know more about hell. Well, here's the thing. When you go to church, unfortunately, there's not a lot of churches that talk about hell. They just don't anymore. Um, they don't like scaring people, but we got to get over that kind of stuff. Um, hell is real and it's not something that we should think is fictional because it is, it's the real deal. It's a, it's, it's real. Okay. Um, the verse we're going to go over today comes from Matthew 25 and it's verse 41. Um, hmm. I'm paused because I'm thinking about something that happened to me when I was a kid and I've obviously told my boys about it but hell is real and I found out that hell was real at a very early age I don't even remember how old I was but I was in grade school I mean elementary school and I mean I don't want to get into all the details but I found out very, very fast that hell was real and it was a place that I did not want to go to, didn't want to mess around with. And I'm thankful that I witnessed what I witnessed when I was a young age because that did help me understand that hell is very real. It's a very real place and you don't play with it. You don't mess with it. So Matthew chapter 25, verse 41 says, Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you who are cursed into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. The devil has, um, I want to, if I remember correctly, I think it was a third of the angels that went with him when he went to hell because they followed him down there and they could not be in heaven since they decided to follow him but what I was getting at before I read the, the scripture verse was that I heard when I was a young girl I heard an actual demonic voice and I will never forget that it's not something that you forget um, it's not a conversation that I have with people every day. Um, but hell is real. Satan is real. His demons are real. And I'm not trying to give him a bunch of glory because that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to educate you. Um, I'm trying to educate your kids. I'm trying to educate you as parents. Don't mess with hell. Don't mess with Satan. Don't mess with witchcraft, spells, potions, all this stuff. Um, it's wrong. And if you think that you can dabble with it just a little bit, it, it will ensnare you. It will trap you quicker than you can shake a stick at it if you let it. If you are not actively seeking Jesus every single day, if you're not reading the Word, if you're not praying, if you're not listening to the Holy Spirit, you can get yourself in big trouble if you allow yourself to dabble in the things of hell and Satan and witchcraft. Because he's going to take you right up on your offer if you let him. Okay? So, again, verse 41 says, then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you who are cursed, and to the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. It's heavy stuff, but it's real and it's true.